It's a tailless data shape model. I cut this out from a thermopole sheet, gave it an airfoil shape. In many ways, this design is better than the old models, which uses an elevator for the pitching force, a rotor for turning the airplane. Uh, though these old models, they fly just fine, but the main advantage of uh, the Delta Shape wing is that it stabilizes the aircraft at low speed as well as supersonic speed. The angle of attack it increases the leading edge which creates vortex. So it stabilizes the aircraft at low speed whereas flying uh, at supersonic speed the uh, leading edge remains behind the shock wave so it stabilizes the aircraft. Usually the Delta Shape wings requires headwind uh, to run off the ground and similarly for flying. One can install uh, elevons on the trailing edge of the wing uh, for the pitching force. Uh, Motor spoilers can also be added to reduce lift which are uh, not like uh, the ailerons uh, which increases the lift by rolling. Uh, Initially I thought uh, to use turbine engine for the vertical takeoff, but it's time consuming so uh, I'll be using the props uh, for the vertical thrust uh, and it works just fine. Uh, uh, I'm using a 6 volt servo motor and to control the motor uh, uh, I'm following simple schematic. Uh, I'm using 27 uh, kilo ohms uh, carbon film resistors, uh, 160 pH capacitors each, uh, 27.14 uh, uh, megahertz chip, which I bought it from the electronic market, and 220 NH conductor. Uh, now I'm gonna run a small test for to check the radio signal this model for uh, the vertical takeoff. Uh, I'm going to add these props uh, with this model. Uh, so until then, 